Hey, hi, how are you? It is a Sunday. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. In fact, happy Palm Sunday. We praise in Hosanna. Hosanna today. Glory to God. Um, Palm Sunday, Palm Sunday, Palm Sunday. So we are in Holy Week. And just came back from New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. And this is backwards. Just had a health fair there today, which is really great. So many health practitioners were in the building. And then we got Jamal's wallet. Ah! Y'all want to know what's in his wallet? Boom, there it is. Starbucks, Nordstrom, MasterCard, American Express, Bank of America, and a driver's license. This is Jamal Bryant's new birth wallet. But really, we're really talking about uh, Good Friday, and I know the words are backwards. I My apologies. I'm on the uh, front camera of the Android phone, my Cricket phone. <laughs> Don't talk about my Cricket phone. Probably giving me a new Cricket phone. Another one. Another bank. Another Cricket phone. But the words, the words, oh wait, did you turn yourself around right? No, I don't know. Anyway, the words, the words, the words, the words are backwards, but the pictures are, are good either way. So, uh, Good Friday, whoops, Good Friday at New Birth. We're having World Changers Church and Pastor Creflo Dollar in for the Good Friday service at New Birth. So two service, two churches together. Then on Easter Sunday, it's Dr. Bryant and Todd Delaney is the uh, featured musical minister. And that's on Sunday. So this is the new birth uh, invitation. You're invited. It is Good Friday celebration, Friday, March 29th at 7.30, a new birth. Guest speaker, Dr. Creflo Dollar, World Changers Church International. And then on Sunday, Easter Sunday, March 31st at 9.30 a.m., it's guest artist Todd Delaney and, of course, host pastor Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant. Bringing the city together. Hashtag bringing the city together. So we're going College Park and Stonecrest together for the Resurrection Weekend. All right? So now you got to peek into Jamal's wallet. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, hey, hi, how are you? What's going on with you? I ain't got nothing to talk about today. Well, maybe a little bit. Oh, things I said I wasn't going to speak on anymore. <laughs> Law is always something new. Y'all just keep fooling around with the fooling around. How many times do you want your spot to get blown up, my friend? I'm just saying, like, what is really going on? When are you going to just cut the energy out? You don't cut the energy completely out. You're going down, my my friend. You're going down. I don't want you to go down. I even wore lashes for this thing. Everything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love you. God bless you. Hearts, hugs, love. love. We got love, hugs, and pats, and all of that. Um. Yeah. So you know, you'll be out here in these blogs again. These people. Just please cut the energy. Thank you for not letting him have a microphone opportunity today. That, that made it. That was really great. Thank you so much. But still got something coming up with them. As the headliner, what you gonna do, man? We live, we learn, and we get loves. <laughs> One day we gonna learn. One day we gonna learn. When you gonna learn? You gonna learn today. <laughs> If you don't learn today, you're going to learn soon enough because it's going down. I keep trying to tell you. I, I just need to save you from this mess that you keep tying yourself into. Because they keep probably keep saying, oh, you better, you better say something about what they're saying about me. So, let them just go. Say, I don't have to worry about what they're saying about you if you're not here. <laughs> it's pretty simplistic. Like, hey, if you're gone... I have no concern over what people say about you. But what people say about you reflects here in my thing that I'm leaving here, my, my, my place of work, right? So in your workplace, you're gonna be negatively affected once again because of your connection to these entities. 
once again, it's already out there today. This is going to get bigger. This is going to keep getting dragged. You're going to keep getting dragged. I'm trying to keep from getting dragged because you come so far. It's one thing when you scuff your own shoes, but when you let somebody else get your shoes scuffed up, knowing you don't need to do that, what is really going on? This is my mother thing. Ah! <laughs> really going on so anyway hey it's palm sunday happy sunday to you guys i love you so much i just want to thank you for joining me on how we flow got today tv <laughs> and um you know we've come we've come a long way i'm so godly proud of you i mean look at you <laughs> You don't even look the same anymore. I know you ain't the same. God bless you. God keep you. And God cut the influence of the other negative influence away from you. Do not make these people make you make say something. Because they don't like what somebody said about them. What was going on around about them. Please. They ain't got no... Mm, never mind. We talked about the imposter syndrome the other day. <laughs> that was our resource. It was overcoming imposter syndrome. And we talked about, you know, how sometimes you feel like an imposter. And we mentioned sometimes people are imposters. But sometimes we just feel like an imposter. Not always an imposter. So, that's a note card for you today. I'm going to get to see you though. Didn't get to see you. I'm so proud of you. You're transformed. I love seeing your 2.0 self. Um, give me a new cricket phone. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think it's a new number, too. I have another number, too. So. <laughs> I do declare. Sometimes, you know, you want to approach people and uh, say something to them. Someone you care about a lot or whatever. But you're so worried about how they're going to respond. Oh, they might not, they might reject my offer. They might reject me. They may not uh, receive, you know, the best communicated message. Come on, communication professor. is one that's received by the listener in the way the speaker intended it. So they may not, as a listener, receive what I'm saying to them about how I'm loving them, care about them, or I want to... Uh, you know, getting into doing some stuff together with them, they might not receive it and be like, not what you do. Uh -uh. After this, that, and the other thing, no way. And so then people get all worked up and worried in their mind about, I have so much to say. It's about to burst out like a fire hose. But what if they say, get out of my face? So, oh Lord. She lost her out. <laughs> I heard one buzzing. I don't want to get in the car. <laughs> got, a, got a tree here with all these wasps over here. I have to get my, um, I have a, uh, what do you call this thing? It's a decoy. Wasp, wasp nest decoy. I keep meaning to put it out early in the morning or at night, but when they're not as busy. But this tree is budding over here. The bush is budding. And there's so many. In fact, I saw one of those red wasps here in Georgia with a wood, wood, bumblebee you know the kind that try to you know, dig and put their nest in the wood make a hole in the wood around your garage or around somewhere in your house outside your house the two of them playing around together what if they get a i told myself what if they get like a a super hybrid <laughs> red wasp with a a bumblebee wood dauber it would be like a, a super hybrid crazy insect we'd be scared of that thing like that what was that thing the murder hornet they had <laughs> the murder hornet or something Oh my gosh, I don't want that around my house. Lord have mercy. But anyway, so you might think in the tapes that play in your mind, they don't want what I want. They're not going to accept this offer I wanted to offer them to, you know, deepen the connection or whatever. I think they might reject me. I want you to stop worrying about that. I want to give you blessed assurance that that would not be the case right so I have some notes I'm going to show you a couple notes today but if you ever wish to um, do that 
You'd be welcome with a whole yes. You'd be welcome with a yes. Let me an old note. Will you go with me? Yes, no. Please check one. <laughs> and the answer, the check mark would be on the yes. A <laughs> super check. <laughs> Cross out the no. We don't do no over here. So there'd be no rejection this is basically what, what we're saying on that one. Um, also, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I can't, I'm not going to read the last one. Let's talk about the last one. It has to go directly to somebody. Individually. But, you know, I just want you to feel safe enough, like you're in a safe space to unload all that there is to unload about whatever and that you're always here have a day community and, and me in specific it's always a soft place to fall always a soft place to land here uh, i'm not going to be judging you or um you know holding things against you because again i always say none of us is perfect no one is perfect not you not me not he she they None of the imposters are perfect either, right? None of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. But you got to know that whatever you need to unload, blah, fire hose me. Blah. <laughs> I'm ready for the fire hose pressure. Come on now. Because um, everything's bursting out. It's going to burst out. I talked about that the other day. You know, why did God give us feelings if he didn't want us to feel them and share our feelings, right? Why did he give us these emotions, right? So... I'm going to talk about feeling safe and expressing your truest self or how you really feel. Um, do that. You want to look into the connection, deepen the connection uh, on a, a, another level? Please do so. Because it would be a yes, right? So you would have to worry, like, oh, I want to say I can't hold it back any longer. <laughs> but what if they say no? What if they reject me? It's not going to happen. Anything that God sets up, that's not going to happen. God sets it up to go. God sets up the yes. Will your heart and soul say yes? Will your spirit still say yes? And mine still says yes, yes. Come on, kind of glory. But uh, moving forward in faith, right? Faith and love. So I love you so, so much. And I know you love me too. I do, 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 do. Hey, hey, hey. I know you love me too. Do, 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 do. I know you love me. <laughs> Who is that? That's um, Rochelle Farrell. I'm your woman. I'm your wonder girl. I know you love me. What's your favorite romance songs? Ain't nothing like it in the whole wide world. I know you love me. Do, 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 do. I'm so happy I can hardly breathe. I don't know anything else except you love me. Do, 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 do. That's Rochelle Farrell. I know you love me too. A do, 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 do. Ooh, ooh. A longing, there's a longing, there's a yearning. <laughs> uh, Nita Baker says, on my mind, constantly, in my arms is where you should be. Do, 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 do. I love you here by me, baby. You let my love fly free. I want you in my life for all time. Yeah, that's Anita Baker caught up caught up but you can't uh worry about rejection when god set it up it wouldn't be a rejection right right so advance your, your advance will, will not get rejected offering you some blessed assurance that's what i'm writing here but uh i'll have to show it to you another day so when you have those little notes Will you remember this in elementary school? I don't know what they do these days. Will you go with me? Yes, yes, no. Please check one. You got to check one of the boxes and then you, then you fold a note back up and you send it, give it back, toss it across the thing, give it to someone. So in the middle of the class, you open a note. Will you go with me? Like, oh my gosh. And then you check yes. 
and then you send it back and then they're like oh my gosh we go together so by recess you're going together <laughs> it was so simple then yeah you might get rejected but you might not you got to take that chance and if it's just a chance out in, in the world chance then hey you might but if it's if it's a god-ordained thing you won't get rejected hello you understand me all right we got three notes for you today but alas and laddie it is what it is so um or um yeah i wish you clear clear the air i wish you clear the energy um so you could be free we could be free together take our time right got that stuff standing in the way get that thing out the way what you doing get that thing out the way darling come on now you got this thing Ain't no need to worry. The night is going to bring. It'll be all over in the morning, right? So let it be over in the morning. Let it be over in the morning. Um, what else? Hmm. Not sure. I don't think I really have much more in a message for you today. Um, the connection you have with somebody or somebody's is going to blow your spot up again. Really, one specific person is going to. It's going to. We talked about this many, many moons, many videos. I don't even feel like talking about it anymore. It is going to tear your kingdom down. Just mere association with that individual. I don't know how many more ways I can say it. So I need you to clear. Clear your energy. Clear the space. Cut it off. I don't care what they say to you. It is a ploy. It is a spell. It is a manipulation to get you wrapped back up. Told back up in there with them. Like, Shh. But that's not what we're doing. We're doing a new thing. God said he's doing a new thing. It's actually an old thing that you're finally on board with. So now it's a new thing. Well, actually, you've really always been on board with it. But you had to be in the right frame of mind to, to manage the magnitude of what it is. But hey, that's all right. But, you know, spring has sprung, honey. When I said spring is my time to have some fun. I'm ready to have some fun. You want to have some fun with me? All righty then. Now you got you to gotta make a move. I'm waiting for somebody to make a move on you. You make the move. I lost my earring. You make the move. You make the move. <laughs> you make the move. The, 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 the pathway is open. It's open. Action, action. We want action, action, action. We want action. ACT, ION. Action! We talked about that. The, the old cheerleader cheer we had. Right? Action, action. We want action. What's some action? Action! Alright, so let's get some action here. Love, hearts, hugs, pets, all of that waiting for you over here in the How We Float Out Today community. If you haven't joined our community, what are you waiting for, baby? Come on, like, share, subscribe. Join our community on Instagram at howweflow.today, at howweflow, period, today. And uh, the website should be getting updated here this week. And it's also howweflow, period, today. Howweflow.today. Instead of .com, we're dot .today. Today. I need you to call me today. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have a new phone number here. Another I have the same phone number, but I think I had to get another phone because my phone just went, one of them just went kaput. So, I had to get a new phone. You know, I keep my phone forever, honey. If it's still working, it works on the network, I'll keep it. <laughs> Don't waste money on the phone. I got other fish to fry. I got other things to pay for, right? You can pay for a phone. So, anyhow, I got another phone. I need another phone. I think I, I think I got a new different number with it too, so I'm have another number. Another number. I don't think you have to get another number. Maybe I messed up. <laughs> told them to give me a different number instead of the same number to replace the photo. I'm replacing. I don't know. Anyway, um, er, uh, I think that's about it. You know, there's like um, so much to do. I said in the other video, I, I can't be fooling around. I got time to play around. I can't be playing. It's not playing with me. I got stuff to do. I have, you know, I have some uh, 
promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I've got promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. Service today was outstanding. Music ministry, Jonathan, Tiffany, y'all are just so great at New Birth. Thank you all. Um, and the word, of course, always on point. The prayers for the people, you know, altar calls for that. Then the new souls saved or new members joining the church. And then the health fair. I know it's backwards, but the health fair. Oh my gosh, so good. Um, New Birth is doing some amazing things. And I don't want to see any tarnish come on you because of associations with individuals that are connected to what y'all are doing over there. And you need to cut it. You need to cut it. Ain't no one on it. No need to, they don't need to be up there. Not in that position. They can just be out there in the pews with the rest. <laughs> Why are they leading anything? Somebody tell me. Anyway, I digress. Um, let's see. So tomorrow I'm back in the traffic center. Bright and early, well, dark and early, really. Five o'clock in the morning. Where you gonna be? I hope you listen to me in the traffic center on the People's Station, V103, the ATL's number one for hip hop, R&B, and throwbacks. I'll be with Larry Tinsley, the one, the only gospel radio legend, Larry Tinsley. Early morning praise show on V103 from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Monday through Friday. Of course, every Sunday, he's got early morning praise. You definitely got to tune in on that as well. So six days a week in the morning, Larry Tinsley on V103. What? What more could you want? He is like the one, the only true goat, right? So you got that. And then uh, 5.30, I'm in on Sports Radio 929 The Game. With the one and only Dylan Matthews. I love that guy. Dylan Matthews. He's a host. 5.30 to 6 a.m. on 92.9 The Game. And then 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. It's the Big Ticker Morning Show with Jazzy McBee on V103. I'll be doing traffic with them. And then starting at 6 a.m. I'll be doing traffic on 92.9 The Game with the Morning Shift. So all of them will be on. And then there's Steak Shapiro with the Steakhouse, uh, with his show, and, um, and Sandy. And then also, oh, Jen Javi. Who doesn't love Jen Javi? Jen Javi on the new Star 94. I uh, have traffic for her show, with her show, at uh, 7 a.m. hour and 8 a.m. hour. Also on News and Talk 1380 WAOK with the Rashad Richie Morning Show. He'll tell you, he'll tell your mouth out. <laughs> sir, sir, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> Rashad, you're one of a kind. I've always loved you. I always will. Um, so proud of you and all the things you've, you know, gone on to accomplish, you know. So many things, right? Since we used to talk in the in between my show ending and your shift beginning when you used to do the midday show. But I knew you had it in you. It was always in you. So you got that thing. Proud of your shot. That's on News and Talk 1380 WAOK, the voice of the community. So from 6 to 10, I got traffic reports every 15 minutes with Rashad's show. So that's four amazing Atlanta radio stations where you can hear the one, the only ATL traffic lady giving you all your latest traffic updates. On the People's Station, V103, the ATL's number one for hip-hop, R&B, and throwbacks. Or on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Or News and Talk 1380 WAOK. Or the new Star 94, right? So, um, I'll be back at it again. And so, listen in. If you're in Atlanta, listen in. Or go to the Odyssey app, A-U-D-A-C-Y and click Atlanta stations and you'll find our stations there as well. You can listen from anywhere around the world. You have to be in Atlanta, anybody, you gotta do all that. You can listen from anywhere, anywhere at all, anywhere at all, anywhere in the world, anywhere that you can get on a website or download the Odyssey app. It's a free app. And you'll just hear the Atlanta stations. You hear all of the Odyssey stations plus a whole bunch of other stations, plus a whole bunch of podcasts, a whole bunch of everything. It's a whole audio streaming humongo platform <laughs> okay 
And speaking of humongo streaming platforms, we're about to double up on the flow, and then we're going to then we're going to enterprise level with uh, full expansion here this year. So um, check us out at theflowtelevision.com. I think I'm updating that website as well. But you can watch us at theflow.lightcast.com. Theflow.lightcast.com. Right now I got ten live stream video channels, ten on demand video channel networks, and then ten audio networks for on demand. Then I'm gonna double up to twenty, twenty, and twenty, and then I'm gonna enterprise it up to uh, scale as uh, we begin to uh, expand exponentially, because it is a whole media empire. All right. So, no shame on small beginnings, right? But yeah, we've been at this thing for several years in autopilot. And, um, you know, I got some these networks about to really level up. So, if you're a content creator, you want to be part of it, check me out. Follow us at, at theflowtelevision.com on Instagram, on YouTube. It's the Flow Television Network. There's, another, there's other flows out there on YouTube. So you got to say the Flow Television Network. Look for the purple and magenta, sort of a play button shaped triangle-ish, roundish triangle-ish shaped logo. That's us. And you can check out some of our live streams there, all the videos and things we posted that are on the platform and are on the apps. So we're on Roku. Got a Roku app, Fire TV app, iOS app, Android app, a mobile app. <clears throat> we've got the Google video podcast or audio podcast. We've got Apple video podcast, Apple audio podcast. We got Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Uh, where else? Um, hey Google or uh, Hey Alexa. <laughs> uh, you'll be able to, to call us up there. Um, pretty much everything. Every smart TV you can get us on on one of those apps. All your uh, smart devices you can get us. All right, all waiting for is you. I'm just waiting for you to join in, baby, because this is going to be the place to be. All right. So that's the flow. That's the flow. And you're watching How We Flow Not Today TV. This is our community centered on healthcare, wellness, the art of well-being and personal improvement, personal development. It's about creating the life of your dreams because yes, it's possible. Who's been like, oh my God, I'm so sick of this life. Lord, give me a life I can handle. <laughs> give me a life I don't have to take a vacation from. And that's what we're developing here, but it's all a mindset flip. You know, we gotta flip the switch. So we've been talking about here for the last seven to eight months and I see you guys doing that doggone thing. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud, so proud. Love you so much. I'm loving you into your new self. I am calling you into your greatness. <laughs> and it's working. <laughs> I see you. 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 So keep it up. All right. The part of your greatness is cutting off the stuff that does not align. And I do see sometimes some of you are still letting stuff hang on you. It doesn't align with your level up. And it's just going to be dragging you down. You're not going to get to your level up. Why can't I really? I'm there. I can see it. I'm almost there. But uh, I'm still dragged down because you didn't cut, prune, trim, hack off. <laughs> As you talked about people using machetes to, to get the palms and just breaking them off. Just It wasn't good for the palm trees except to let them go, grow back stronger. But when you machete off or break off that energy in people or persons that are not good and aligned with your future, you're going to come back stronger. You're going to level all the way up. But you still got them attached to you. Like, what is that thing on you? Like, you got that thing on your back. What is that? Get that thing off your back. Ugh. Can't get that thing off your back. Can't get that thing off your back, you're not gonna win. In fact, your whole spot's about to get blown up again because that thing is on you. <sighs> Lord. I said I'm gonna talk about that. But some things just need to be said. I'm speaking the truth in love. I want the best for you. I want to see you happy. I love seeing you looking happier. 
but I want to see you in your fullness of your happiness, of your fullness of your joy, the fullness of all that God really has for you and free of anything that is not really for you. They with you because of what they can get from you. And I'm telling you that in love. I think you know it. I'm going to keep rolling you back in with that spelling stuff. Mind manipulation. Oh, feel sorry for me. What will I do? Please don't, please don't separate from me because, oh, I have nowhere to go. I have nothing. That's their business, not yours. You keep every time, every day, every moment you keep them in your story. You keep giving them the pen to write your future. They got to go. Like, whatever that is. Bink! <laughs> Bye. It was good while I last year, but ugh. Bink! See ya. I don't want no parts of you. I got other things to do. God told me to come up out of that low level energy, okay? And I'm finally going to do the doggone thing. You know, you owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to detach from that. There's so much ahead of you. You owe it to yourself. Say, I owe this to myself. To do what's right for me because whose life is it? Yours. Yeah, it's your life. And you owe it to yourself to live your best life ever. I see the bees coming around again. To live your best life ever. And I'm watching you. And I'm waiting for you. And there's no rejection in this safe space right here. Safe space. Love hugs and pats. Oh, I'm gonna love you, hug you, pat you. <laughs> all of that. Hugs, kisses, mwah. see you soon. All of those things. Without that encumbered that thing is on you. <laughs> that residue. Get that thing off. You messed up your life long enough. And sometimes people get afraid to go to the real thing. So they keep going back to the old thing. Because it's a comfortable space. Or they keep looking for what the new thing fully encompasses, all of those qualities and the old things or other things, and those things don't have it because there's no one like that individual God set for you. There's nobody like them. You're not going to find it anywhere. You already know you don't find it anywhere. And I'm at the top of my family tree almost. Not there quite, but, you know, we get older. We had a funeral this past week. And we're getting closer to the top of the family tree. If you're in your 50s, you're at the top. I mean, you might have your parents left, maybe aunt or uncle, and then it's your level. You, your siblings, and your first cousins, and we're at the top. I'm going to be at the top in a, you know, a little while, right? After a little while. So, tomorrow's not promised, baby. So, all we have is today. So, my encouragement for you is to do something about it today something about cutting off things from your past today and do something about moving into your future today can you do that you can but i think pastor you said something about and i gotta go back and look at it like you know what to do you know what you need to do and you get ready to start doing it and then you're just like oh i need to just go sit back down slowly like i can't do it that's some truth to that thing i, I that spoke to me i understand that thing and I need you to understand what you said. I need everyone to understand what he said also. Because sometimes we just be like, all right, I'm going to do it. I know what I got to do. I'm ready. And then you try to do it. And then something within you makes you say, oh, it's hard to do. And you get these other thoughts and feelings going on. And then next thing you know, the next day you're still stuck in the same old place. I need you to dig up out of that pit. Dig up out of that sunken place. <laughs> dig up out of that low level energy where it's just a bunch of crabs in a barrel a bunch of leeches people wanted to get what they could get from you and ain't got no oil of their own all of that all of that all of that all of that i don't want to talk about it no more. that gets on my nerves i hate seeing you have to go through this i really do like why why do they keep subjecting themselves to the same old stuff it's been years I mean, you know, decades of the same stuff. People trigger from something 20 years ago. Who knows, right? But you keep picking the same things again and again in different people, but the same things. And you have right in front of you the health fair. Ooh, all the things you need for your health right here. Your health and your wellness is right here. But I'm going to go past that and I'm going to go look for the one 
uh, test here over there. I'm going to look for the, the one screening here over there. But it's all right here in the one thing. All the, all the health stuff you need is right here in the one thing God gave you. But you're going to look for this health screening over in this person, this health test over here, this little part of the, of the health fair over there. And you're looking for parts of what this thing possesses, what this individual even possesses, in all these other people. You're never going to find it because there's no one like whoever God sent you, right? There's no one like them. Fully encompassed. Everything's all there. I'm looking for little qualities of you and other people. I won't level into, you know, what, what it really is in, in a fully, fully done scenario here. Come on. You got this thing. I'm calling you to your greatness today. We don't have tomorrow. We have today. Yesterday's gone. One second ago is gone. What are you going to do this second? This second? This second? This second? Time is a hard taskmaster. It waits for no man or woman. And what did you do in the last 30 seconds to improve your condition? Nothing. Just sitting here. Well, you're watching me. That's helpful. <laughs> I hope I'm helping your condition in the last 30 seconds, in the last 30 seconds, in the last one second, in the last one second. But please, today, I implore you today, do one thing to cut off mess from your past. It's dragging you down. It is going to blow up your spot again and tear your whole kingdom down. Just, just the mere association with that individual is what that will do. I know you think that because they look so cute. Look, oh, no way, not me. Oh, no, them. That individual is the one going to tear your kingdom down. And then when you try to cut them off, they're going to try to tear your kingdom down even worse or tear you down. Do something to you. Right? But God is sovereign, He's a hedge of protection. You take one step, he'll take two. Take a step today. Make the one phone call that cuts that thing off you. Ugh, that residue. Ugh, in the kiddie pool. And then make one phone call that changes your life forever. And moves you forward into that new direction that God has for you. All right, let's give God glory. Glory. Hallelujah. All of that, all of that, Lord. All of that. We want all of that, all of that. All of that good that is yet to come. All of that good that is yet to come. That's what we're looking for. And I believe you, God, that my people here who are watching me right now are going to make one step to get rid of that thing off you and one step to move forward. One call to cut that thing off. Sorry, it's over. Uh, bink. And then one call to say, let's start. Let's start over. I'm so sorry. Let's just start over. And will they reject you about starting over? No. They will say, Yes, of course. I've been waiting for you to say that. Well, ah, it's the day we've been waiting for all of our lives, right? So, one call today to get that thing off you. Bye. And one call today to bring in the new. Okay? Do that today. We don't have tomorrow. Waking up tomorrow is, is a blessing. It's not, you know, something that's standard for everybody. Somebody's not going to wake up tomorrow. I pray it's not you or me or anyone, really. But... You know, no one knows. No one knows when our time is. So, please. Rest if you must, but don't you quit. So today, I mean today. Come on, How We Flow Today community. Today. How We Flow dot, not to, it's not How We Flow dot tomorrow. It's not How We Flow dot yesterday. It's How We Flow dot today. How are you flowing today? What are you going to do today to flow in your purpose? To flow in your gift. How are you going to flow today? I'm going to get rid of that ugh, residue of that nasty thing that's still sitting on me, tearing me down. And I'm going to flow into all the glory and beauty and lash life of what, what is here for me even now. All right. All right. Love you guys. God bless you. Love, hearts, hugs, pats, and all of that. Um, just keep being amazing. I love you so much. I cannot wait to see you. Can't wait to talk about all your progress. I'm just so proud of you. It's like, thanks for just doing the work because it's not easy to change who we are. You know, you guys have changed who you are in so many ways and leveling up in ways that are people think are impossible. And people see it on you. And I know you see it on yourself and I definitely see it on you. And I want to see it just like this, up close and personal. Okay, so bring it to me. Bring it to me. All right. Love you. God bless you. I'll take um, another video maybe. I don't know when. I'll be back.
back with another video back with another banger it's the Habitual Today community it's Stephanie Stallworthy until traffic lady I love you guys so much I will see you soon be blessed on this Palm Sunday Hosanna We're praising God today glory to his name and um, have a blessed Holy Week you guys and um, I'll see you when I see you all right I'll see you in the traffic center five o'clock in the morning <laughs> tune in all right Tune in and turn out with Big Ticker Show. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.